Hey, 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 Charisma here. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about embodying your next level identity. In my previous video, I shared on how to identify your next level identity. So today I'm going to be sharing two of the keys to help you embody your next level identity. The four keys are one, imagination, two, belief, three, emotions and feelings, and four, action. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about imagination and belief. So grab your paper and pen. And let's get started. Imagination. Do you remember as a child when you were growing up, how you used to use your imagination and you used to play these different these different characters and take on these different roles like a teacher, a doctor, a nurse and you would have your friends or maybe you're playing with your dolls and toys and you were this teacher and you'd be teaching or a nurse and you'd be taking care of the of the sick you know I remember I used to be a teacher I used to teach and I wanted to be a teacher when I grew up and I would have my friends all come over every evening after school and I would teach them and I would help them with their homework and I am still a teacher I am a teacher at heart and what I love doing is teaching and really sharing and really inspiring and encouraging and motivating and I've become that teacher that I imagined when I was a child and the same principle applies when you are intentionally manifesting and embodying that next level of yourself, your next level identity, imagination is crucial because we're able to use that part of us that helps really bring forth or bring into reality what we desire. As you know, the subconscious mind makes up 95% of our mind and the other 5% is our conscious mind. Everything that's happening, you know, our thoughts, our emotions, our feelings, our words, how we, you know, how we, our perspective on things and how we look at outlook on, on life, it's all managed through our subconscious mind. So this is why it's important that we tap into our imagination so that we can give our subconscious mind tools and images to work with to help us manifest the, the desires, the goals, the dreams, and to really embody our next level self. What you are holding in your mind as mental pictures is giving the subconscious a direction. This is why it's important to give the subconscious the right images that it can use to use as a direction to the path of your desires and to embody that next level identity of yourself, that next level identity of the woman that you desire to be. So what does you look like as her what is their environment right what or who do they surround themselves with what are the behaviors and habits as that author that we talked about in my next my last video the, the New York best-selling times author or whatever that thing is for you who is she surrounding herself with what are some of the behaviors and the habits that she is living every single day it's important to really get clear on what those things are so that you can really step into and embody her at that next level now make it as real as possible in your mind's eye use imagination or guided imagery tricks the brain because your subconscious mind does not know the difference between what is real or unreal this is why it's important that when we feel something that we are consciously aware of what we're feeling, what we're saying, what our thoughts are, what our emotions are, what our feelings are, because our subconscious mind does not know the difference. And it's however we show up, we're giving the subconscious mind direction, whether it's positive or negative. Number two, belief. The secret to real change is changing your internal state and believing
and believing in an empowering story for yourself. The narratives we tell ourselves literally creates our reality. And that's my puppy fluffing the rug. <laughs> Teddy, you must try to do a video, boo. Observe your thoughts in order to change them. You must become consciously aware of what your thoughts are because your thoughts inspire your beliefs. And the more you think about something, it becomes a belief and it becomes an ingrained belief, whether that's for your highest good or for not. Utilize your sleep and waking states to get into the state through I am affirmations so that you can change your beliefs. You can shift your beliefs. Your because belief is important to embody your next level identity. When you shift your beliefs, you are giving your subconscious mind instructions to run the new program. So what program are you going to give your subconscious mind? By shifting your beliefs, really stepping into the I am, right? I have some affirmations here. You can check my previous videos of I am affirmations to really shift your belief at a subconscious level. This is important to embody that next level identity. So today we talk about imagination and beliefs, the first two steps to embodying your next level identity. And in my next video, I'm going to be talking all about emotions and feelings and action. I hope that you found this video of value to you. If you have, please share it with someone that you know, as well as like it because it would give me really great feedback if you were enjoying these videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the family here, do subscribe so that I know that you are part of this family. And if you desire deeper support, I would love to invite you to join the Dare to Be Iconic Club. The link is in the description below. That's where I would help you, mentor you, guide you, support you, give you accountability as you become that next level version of yourself and embody the frequency so that you can become the woman who's living on purpose, the woman who has all the money that she desires, the woman who's attracting, earning, and receiving money with grace and ease, and a woman who's living her life with impact and making a difference in the world. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Until next time, remember, dare to be iconic in business and life. Bye for now.